guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown, and we are talking today about what to wear to dance audition. So, how do you stand out? How do you make yourself known? What do you wear? Well, for girls, it's pretty easy. I mean, they usually have a bigger wardrobe anyway, and they can wear anything from leotards and tights to dance skirts to athletic wear to cute little leggings and tops. I mean, they kind of got it in the bag, so they always have more to choose from. But guys, you're thinking, do I wear jeans, shorts? No, no, you don't. You got to invest in some leggings or jazz pants. You just got to go for it if you're going to go for these dance auditions. And um, you got to invest. I mean, if you're just dancing in sneakers right now or something, one, you should be taking dance classes that you already have some dance shoes, like jazz shoes or character shoes or, because, yeah, they make character shoes for guys, um, or tap shoes or, you know, ballet shoes. I mean, you should already have your wardrobe going, but if you don't, that's okay, um, but you need to start investing in some jazz shoes and things like that. So, if you go to Blocks or Capizios, um, jazz shoes are going to set you back 60 to 100 bucks. But, you know, you're going to be wearing them if you're going to start auditioning for things. Um, you could get a dance sneaker if you are comfortable in a sneaker type thing. I used to love auditioning in dance sneakers. I mean, unless I had to wear a heel. But, and today I even still love choreographing and dancing in my faithful dance sneakers. They make them in black too. Um, they make them in all colors actually, but this is from Blocks. It runs about 70 bucks. And I just found them, they're very pliable. They breathe. Um, I found them a little more substantial than just a jazz shoe. They have a nice hard um, sole here, something where you're turning to on the ball of the foot. You can do stuff up on your toe. If they just snuck a little tap step in there, you can make the sound. If they gave you just even kind of maybe a hip hop step, I don't know. It's just something a little more substantial. I always found jazz shoes a little slick or soft. That's just me. I don't know, Blocks ain't sponsoring me, so it's not like I'm trying to sell you Blocks, but that's just me. Um, all right, but jazz shoes will suffice. If you're really into a jazz shoe, get a jazz shoe. So, I would never, ever go dressed in costume to the dance audition. I think you're just going to feel silly, and people might look at you like, oh, they think they're in the show already. Um, but, you know, I would go dressed in the genre of the show, meaning if it's a big 40s, 50s, splashy, you know, musical, especially like a tap musical or something, girls, I think it's okay to wear a really bright colored leotard and maybe like a dance skirt and your heels. You know, well, you're going to be wearing your tap shoes if it's a tap combination, but, you know, because that's already sort of in that genre of the show you know that would kind of be the costume you're going to be wearing anyway is probably like a little 40s 50s looking skirt or you know think 42nd street and so that would be okay if it's something like chicago or fossey i would definitely wear something very fitted and maybe a higher cut leotard and heels there i would not be wearing my jazz sneaker um but you know, just that's what I mean. Kind of dress appropriately. If it's a very contemporary show, like something done now, where it's got very contemporary choreography, something that's maybe more athletic, they are going to give you some hip hop or pop choreography, then I think more athletic wear is appropriate. More the Lululemon look. Maybe leggings, a crop top, t shirt. And then maybe that's where a jazz sneaker or jazz shoes, even for girls, is more appropriate. So that's what I'm saying. Kind of gear yourself towards the genre of the show. 
And for guys, I mean, I think it's always kind of a standard look where you want just some comfortable pants, but not baggy, and a nice t-shirt. I would always suggest for everybody a bright color. Stay away from navies, blacks, browns, grays. That's not going to help you. Stay away from prints. Stay away from anything obnoxious on your shirt. But pick your best color, something bright, something that's going to make you stand out, something memorable, and um, and be comfortable that day. You know, you may have to be there for hours. And so I wouldn't wear something that you're going to be adjusting and, you know, then you're just going to be like, oh, why did I wear this, you know. But at the end of the day, something that you feel really suits your body type and that you think, I look really good in this, but I'm comfortable and you can move really well in and we just want to see your your lines and and how you look um you know coming from this side of choreographer we also want to see your face so you know have your hair done nicely um girls some nice makeup you know be presentable look your best and uh and we want to see your facial expressions you know we want to sell the number you know how are you going to be on stage that day so anyway, those are my best tips for how to present yourself and how to dress at a dance audition. I hope that was helpful. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos. I'll see you in the next.